Hello out there. Today, Darn Dog and I. Darn Dog and I. We're having a uh, we're having a good Friday so far. I hope you are too. We um, I've already done with his help. I have worked on math. I've worked on math with the class. I have worked on uh, writing with the previous group. We worked on who, what, when, where, why, how. Inspired by this, by my companion here. Um, excuse me. And what I'm going to do next for the next 30 minutes, I'm going to go through some extreme weather books. I'm going to uh, zoom in on some key vocabulary that you're all going to need because no matter what you're doing, hurricanes, floods, tsunamis, tornadoes, hail, earthquakes, and that's only the first six of the, what? Oh, blizzards. Thanks, John. So there's, uh, there's at least seven uh, extreme weather phenomena. And for all of those weather types, when you're reading these books, um, for all of them, there's key vocabulary that if you understand that vocabulary, you'll understand the weather better, the extreme weather, and not only that, if you understand the vocabulary well, you can then explain it to someone else. Because that's, if you haven't gotten the, um, if you have not gotten this, you're, you're gonna be, you're gonna be an expert and then you're gonna, my ask is that you, I expect for you to tell us. You know, you're gonna tell us about hail or mm, something, oh, heat waves. Heat waves are another thing. Um, droughts, that's another one. So. I have, um, I've connected, so I've connected the, I've connected my document camera, which is here. See that? So I've connected the document camera to the wall and it's going up and it's uh, being projected there. So what we're doing, uh, I'm gonna be showing you some key words and, uh, eh. And have fun with this. All right. So the first, I mean, this is this is a great. This I think this one. I keep this one here. This extreme weather book. Uh, this book uh, is great. I think it's. It looks a lot like the. Um, uh, there's a book series. I think some of you have it. Eyewitness. Eyewitness. This looks like an eyewitness book, but it's not. It's a. It's called Insiders. And the computer graphics for this are incredible. And I keep coming back. Let's try to get this a little less cluttered, shall we? I keep coming back to um, to blizzards. No, hail. Sorry. I keep coming back to hail. That's better. Um, because hail is really, as somebody who grew up in a warm climate, ooh, climate is, a bit, is an important word. So um, as somebody who grew up in a very warm climate, Hail is very interesting to me. Um, I'm not saying I'd like to be in it. I'd like to be in a, a hailstorm where things were small. But I would not be like this is a, um, hopefully you can see this. Uh, maybe I have to turn to the page. So hailstorms can be really, really scary. Uh, blizzard alley, ice storm. Here we go. Here's hailstorm. So, hmm. Ah, dreads. That's not as clear as I thought it would be. Oh, well. Yeesh. So what I'm trying to show... So here, I guess this is better. <laughs> Ugh, document camera. Sometimes just holding things up is better. So what I'm looking at here... Oh, I know. Yeah, let's clear this out. Uh, let's get to a blank. Right? Let's get to a blank one. I wanted to... Uh, ooh, that's not pleasant. There we go. So I wanted to, um, please, hey, blank screen. Blank screen. There we go. All right. Yeah. All right. So I'll write, I'll start writing some uh, key words up here. Um, I, yesterday, this is math. 
my administrative assistant to help me out here. So I've got uh, some color. Oh, this doesn't have a lot of color options, though, does it? Oh, well. So let's do this. Under, so for all of you, right, for all weather phenomenon, yeah, that's good. Uh, what I think you should do, what is this? So all of you should know this word, climate. Climate. Uh, you should also know the word meteorologist. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Oh, you didn't hear that? Someone said, Mr. Corcoran, should we write this down? That's right. I heard him. Thanks, darn dog. Meteorologist. And now that I look at it, I don't know if that's spelled correctly, but it doesn't matter. The important thing is that you know the word. So all of you who, you know, even those of you who are doing earthquakes, I wonder if, I don't think meteorologist applies to earthquakes, but I could be wrong. This is more geologist, so let me do that over here. Um, go over here and do geologist, meteorologist, and geologist. Okay, so meteorologist, geologist, climate. Um, so getting back to hailstorm, the biggest hailstorm, wow. So Europe's most dangerous hailstorm was July 22nd, sorry, July 12th, 1984. It had no deaths. Nobody died from this hailstorm. However, in 1888, wow. So that's a hail, that's a hail, that's a um, piece of hail in 1888. In 1888, so that's a little bit after the U.S. Civil War, uh, do you know how many people were killed by hail that were the size of baseball? Baseball's about that big. I have one over there, but just trust me. Baseball's that big. 250 people. 250 people were and it says that, ra that, that it rarely, that it, hail rarely causes that much damage. Uh, so another, another key word, somebody flipped through here, uh, in the, that's sad, let's clear everything. If you didn't get it, that's fine. Uh, we're gonna make a, we're gonna make a, um, kind of a, what's the word? We're gonna make a glossary like a class glossary of these of these terms. Um, blizzard. Oh, I don't know if anybody's doing a blizzard, but hailstorm I did, mudslide. So her, uh, Katrina is a hurricane. So let's see if there's any key vocabulary. Oh, sunken city, floating help, floating, yeah, floating help. Uh, ooh, catastrophic, okay. So the word catastrophic, Right, catastrophe. Right, catastrophe is a really bad event. So if a storm or a weather event is really bad, it can be catastrophic. Right. So I'm curious, I'm curious which, right, deadly, how about, let's get some other synonyms here. How about deadly, right? Deadly. Another word was uh, dangerous. So I'm curious, all of you out there, which uh, dangerous, dangerous. I'm curious what you um, what you think. Which weather phenomenon is the most deadly? Which is the most dangerous? Because uh, we have, when you think about it, we have earthquakes, right? Er we have earthquakes, heat waves. Um, the, so this extreme weather book, this might be a book that would tell that would help you compare, 
deadly dangerous. Um, there's also another word that's coming to mind is um, costly. Costly. Because when we're thinking about extreme weather, someone's, a person's life, for a lot of us, my opinion, a person's life has more value than, you know, $100. Because you can get $100, can't get someone's life back. So when, you, when we're talking about the cost, it could be um, the cost in terms of lives, costly. Um, so it could be financial, right, in terms of money. So store, when, when things cause um, destruction, that's another word, when they cause destruction, it could be financial or it could be in terms of uh, human, like people suffering or people being hurt or worse. Um, cyclones, what's another? Dust storm, what's another? I'm trying to find some key words to help us as we, mm, climate, remember I said uh, climate? So this page here, oops, wrong way. This page here is all about um, climate and I think you can see that uh, this is a, a glacier it looks like. Yeah, oh, it's the ice sheet. It says uh, Antarctica's ice sheet, the world's largest glacier, contains 90% of all the ice on Earth. Antarctica's glacier has not, you know what 90% looks like? If we have a, if you have a pie chart, if it's a circle, and I say, hey, I'm having a, I'm having a party, I'm gonna, we're gonna have a pizza party but I'm gonna eat 90% of the pizza. There you go, 90%. Uh, so I'm gonna have the red, you can have the 10% that's left over. 90% of the ice on Earth is in Antarctica. Wow, that's interesting. All right, oh, so keywords, uh, ah, so people are talking, some people, oh, Two of you would be happy to see this. So whoever's doing a hurricane, so that's uh, the hurricane and that's the eye of it. And someone, I remember someone saying that a, a hurricane looks like a black eye, a black hole. Uh, and it, it does kind of. Um, so the, oh, I did not know. I did not know this. So for hurricane, I'm gonna clear this off here. Um, for hurricanes, so a hurricane, this is a this uh, plane right here. I didn't know, I'm learning something myself. So this hurricane, a uh, plane, this plane rather, that's called a hurricane hunter. And what it does, the hurricane uh, has that eye in the middle. So it drops something. I don't think you can see it. Maybe you can. There's a um, there's a red dotted line. It comes from the, whoops, comes from the plane. And there's a little parachute right there. And the parachute is attached to a probe Scientists release an equipment-filled canister called a drop sonde into the eye of the hurricane. It measures wind, temperature, pressure, and humidity every half second all the way down. So the parachute slows it, and it takes 15 minutes to go from... So if you do... I'm trying to do a... Um, I'm sorry, so I'm trying to take this and make sense of it. And... When you're reading, if you want to draw it to help you understand, you totally can. So I'm going to draw the hurricane, right? So we've got, all right, so let's say we have the plane up here. So you have the plane flying over uh, the hurricane. Let's say this, this is not to scale, but, right, the hurricane and it's twisting and twisting and then the sea level is way, oops, sea level is down here. And it says when it drops the um, when it drops the when it drops this probe, there's an umbrella that slows the uh, that slows the descent. So this probe goes down in here, and it takes from here to there. Did you catch how long it took for that probe to go from wherever this plane is flying? Down here, it takes 15 minutes. Now, I, I don't when you do this, because as you as you read, what do you what what I and a lot of readers do is we we try to take this information 
and we put it in a form that makes sense to us. So, you know, drawing, drawing is good for some people. Um, for others, oh, this is getting beat up. For others, it's uh, what helps them is uh, remember boxes and bullets. We were talking about that as a as a way to organize. So let me take that. Here we go. So the main idea, and this is called a a falling pro. Oh, there's actually a name for it. So the key vocab is D. Oh, those of you who are doing hurricanes, you might want to write this down. Drop. That one's pretty easy. That part's pretty easy. Drop. And the next part is sond. S-O-N-D-E. -E. I've never heard of this thing. Drop sond, and that's what that thing's called. Oh, it would be cool to see. A, maybe on YouTube they might have a video of what that looks like. So um, so I was going to say, I was going to put the probe, the hurricane probe, but now I think that's too, I, I, I think that doesn't fit what I'm doing here. So what I'm doing here is I have, okay, first, so maybe it's, um, what's it called? Um, what's that reading strategy? Sequence? I want to say it's sequence. Oh. Boop, boop. There we go. Oh. Not sequence, it's on the, I can't think of it. Oh, yeah, it is sequence. So sequential. So I almost did boxes and bullets to organize my thoughts. But I think sequential is better because sequential, the main idea is, the main idea being, uh, there we go. Uh, what is it doing? It's measuring, oh, collecting data. Collecting, collecting um, hurricane. Sorry about this though. Pen that the tip here is there's another there might be another pen in there. The hurricane, uh, kind of like the hurricane uh, data. And when you're collecting the hurricane data, what they do is one right first, first plane, plane flies over the hurricane, and you can. You can, um, what's it called? You can abbreviate. These are these are your notes, right? If you, if uh, you were, I guess you can see it. If you were um, taking these notes yourself, you, you just have to make sure you understand it. Okay, so over the drop, oh, you go over the hurricane in a plane. Do you remember what happened in second? Hmm. Uh, ooh, I'm gonna use a key word. I like this word. Actually, this word deploy, I'm using that word because um, the cities, cities around the country are deploying uh, security to make sure everybody's safe. So de deploy is to like release, to drop, to send, that's all deploy. Um, oops, give me that. Ah, okay, deploy uh, the drop song, so I'm gonna switch to red here. Uh, drop sound. Drop sound. Um, into the what? Do you remember the um, do you remember the name here of this thing? You put your goodbye goggles over your eyes. The eye of the hurricane. Drop on into. Into. Now I'm going to say I'm also going to put this in red. Into the eye. Um, into the eye. Right? You deploy the drops on into the eye, three, third. Um, it, so we'll just do this. Like for my, for my notes, I know that, oh, that's not right. Go back. This, the drops on. The drops on is the it. So I'm going to say it. Now you could rewrite the word. It's up to you. But I'm just going to do it. It, um, it collects data. It collects data. Ooh, this thing is. You can't put this in a pencil sharpener. I'm guessing. Whoa! Hey! Hey! What you got? Goodness sake! All right. Oh. Technology is my friend. Technology is a tool. Sometimes. 
the tools fail us. Sometimes the user makes a mistake. I didn't think I, I don't know. Maybe we'll go back. Maybe I can read some more. All right. So this, um, okay, I learned something new. I learned how high the plane is. The plane is, uh, now you know why I use chart paper. Um, the plane flies 40,000 feet above sea level. It has, uh, what else happens? Spiral arm. So there's a word. There's a, another key vocabulary called spiral arms of the hurricane. What's wrong with you? Wow. Is it because you? <sighs> Where was I? All right. So let me find it. <laughs> Maybe that's a sign I need to switch to a different, uh, a different, what's it called? <laughs> Weather phenomenon. Still a hurricane. There's a lot about hurricanes in here. All right. Let's go to lightning. Maybe. What the? Okay. For lightning. Please tell me you're still having it. Still have it? <laughs> all right. That's all right. Now I'm going to teach you about lightning. Lightning. Okay, how lightning forms. So lightning forms. Ooh, okay. For lightning, here's some key vocabulary. I'm moving on. I'm not going to let Life's too short. It's Friday, how bad can it be? All right, lightning. Light. So for lightning, I, uh, so lightning is definitely, it's about electricity. Benjamin Franklin can tell you that. So lightning, um, it says it's a, lightning is the visible part of a giant atmospheric, atmosphere, 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 right? You're going to need to know the word atmosphere if you're focusing on lightning or thunder. Uh, do you know how hot? Okay, you know how when you cook, like last night I cooked a pizza? 375 degrees. That's, how, that's my temperature in my oven. You know, you know how hot a, um, a lightning strike gets? Some of you might double it. You double that? Yeah. You double it at 7, 750? 350 is 700. I think 375 double was 750. 300, 750 degrees? That's how hot I'll, uh, no. Multiply that by 10. Multiply this by 10, what do you get? Nope. It's not even 3,750 degrees. A lightning strike. A lightning strike is 54,000 degrees. 54,000 degrees. Do you know that some people have been hit by lightning and survive? Now, this is the maximum, right? Think of a thermometer. A lightning strike could be this hot. It could be lower, though, right? So... I don't think the lightning is going to be zero degrees. Uh, some of it is going to be 54,000. So I don't know how big the range is. That's fascinating. All right, where was I? <laughs> Whatever. All right, sorry, lightning industry. Oh, wait, maybe it's a race. I'm racing this. Yeah, it's a race. Thing. All right, so that's interesting. If, you, if you're focusing on lightning, you're going to need to know atmosphere. <gasps> Tornadoes. Now you know why. Uh, tornadoes are so destructive. Can you guess how fast? So we talked about temperature, right? So whatever your, whatever your, uh, 
weather phenomenon is, you're going to need, you're going to need to, what's the word measure? So what's being measured? So what's, what's being measured, for example, uh, the lightning strike, we're measuring that in degrees, right? Degrees, which, me degrees which measure uh, temperature. Uh, the other thing, when I was talking about hurricanes, did you catch what, how the, what the measurement was for, for hurricanes, for dropping the drops on? It was uh, measuring the, well, it was measuring the, um, the height, because I think it was 40,000, so heights, right? So height um, in, I think it was feet, right? Feet, but it was thousands of feet, right? I think it was 40,000 feet. Feet, I'm gonna put a question mark, because now I can't remember if it's 4,000 feet or 40,000 feet. 40,000 feet seems pretty high. Uh, degrees, temperature, um, height and feet. Uh, so the reason I said that was um, the speed, right? So the speed of a hurricane. Again, I, I mentioned the oven, right? For degrees, I said the oven was 375 degrees to cook a pizza. Um, speed, a car, your cars can drive, you know, cars can drive 70 miles an hour. You're probably on a freeway in the United States, 70 is about as fast as you should go. Um, right, darn dog? Good All right, so speed uh, in miles per hour. Miles per hour. A hurricane, if a car can go 70, I mean, if a car had to go 100 miles an hour or faster it could, a tornado goes 185 miles an hour. So 185 miles per hour. And you know, I asked one of your classmates, oh, it's almost time to go. I asked one of your classmates um, if they've gone to another country recently because for miles per hour, we're one of the few countries that still uses miles, uh, miles, feet, inches, yards. Most countries use a different metric. They use, let's see, uh, they use um, kilometers. The metric system. So, um, how many miles is it? Kilometers, rather. Right? Three hundred. So, three hundred kilometers per hour. Now, what I want people to remember: these are different units. One eighty-five and three hundred are not the same unit. They're not the same value because these are different units. Um, we're going to get to to measurement and math in a little bit. But these are all things to, like I said, be um, pay close attention to when you're reading. Pay attention to vocabulary. Um, if you see something that's interesting, use your post-it. Um, what I'm going to do with those things. Use a post-it if you can. You can put it on the book, obviously. Um, these, yep. So these books. Uh, are coming back to school, so make sure you don't write on the books themselves. If you own a book and you want to make notes on that, I still, you know, I will still use either um, post-its, like a sticky note, sticky, uh, a sticky note, or something like that. Uh, mm. Okay, so uh, that's all for for reading. Uh, write down interesting vocabulary. Uh, interesting facts, and then we're going to continue to show you different ways to organize your thoughts. There, there is a um, make sure you check out our assignments page for more videos on how to write on cause effect, compare contrast, and lastly, problem solution. Okay, those are the different ways to organize your thoughts. Pretty good. Only one tech fail. Uh, that was pretty good. You like that darn dog? He wants to watch more videos of dogs chasing sheep or something. All right, I'll see some of you at uh, 1130, and then the rest I'll see uh, at 1 o'clock for SEL Social Justice. Bye, everybody. Aloha and au revoir.